All right, as promised, this is part three of the advanced footwork series. And today we're working on partner drills where we can increase not only quickness and speed, but reaction time. So we're gonna do a lot of audio, visual, and reaction cues. So right now we have a line of three cones five yards apart. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick a direction and the, our partner has to chase us to that cone. After we do a couple of reps that way, we're gonna pick that direction but then we're gonna give them a chance to catch up by changing direction and coming back through the original cone. So that's the two variations here. We'll get a couple reps each side. The person who's starting on offense can use some fakes if they want, but once they pick a direction, they gotta stay with that direction. So now we're gonna pick a cone, change direction, and attack the middle cone as a race. Other ways you can work on your reaction time, audio cues, the, the offense can just say left or right, or visual cues, a point. But the most game applicable reps, in my opinion, are when you're chasing the defense. All right. Now I'll do about three to five reps on each. Um, offense, defense, and then through the cone, touch the cone, change direction. All right, let's move on. All right, this next drill is working on a quick reaction and also a jump cut. A jump cut is my favorite cut in Ultimate. It's where you kind of get a little jump and then use that momentum into a cut. What we're gonna have here, AJ's gonna approach the attacking cone, and when he's in the air, I send a cue left or right, and he has to adjust on the fly in a fraction of a second on which way I point and attack that cone. Again, this is an extremely fast reaction drill and it's good for a variety of opportunities in ultimate. A lot of times in ultimate frisbee, you have a really small window to decide which way to go if you see your defender's hips turned or if they look away. So you have to be ready to go at any second. Let's try another one. A lot of times in Ultimate Frisbee, you have a really small window to decide which way to go if you see your defender's hips turned or if they look away. So you have to be ready to go at any second. Let's try another one. All right, and a good, uh, since you don't use too much energy on these, you can probably do about um, five sets of three. You know, do three on offense, then you give the commands, and then flip back. Five sets of three is uh, what I recommend. Let's keep moving. All right, here we're in two small squares. This is another visual, audio, and reaction drill. Here we have about a, a box, five by five yards, and they're back to back. So what we have is start with the visual cues. AJ is gonna point to a square, and that's what I have to attack. Notice that AJ is not gonna point to multiple squares at the same time. He's gonna wait till I'm back set, and that way I practice reacting each time. If you point too fast, it just turns into more of a cardio drill. We want each rep to be 100% focused. All right. Sweet, moving on. There's two types of reaction. There's the mirror, and then there's the, um, the opposite, we'll call it. The mirror is Whatever cone I touch, AJ's touching the respective cone as if it was a mirror. So if I go top left, AJ's going top left here. If I go back left, then it's a mirror, AJ's going back that way. All right, we're gonna do four reps each to show you this one, and then we'll move on to the next. All right, I'll be uh, offense.
Okay, the last one is probably the most advanced. And now, whatever square AJ touches in his box, I do the same. So if AJ goes back left, instead of mirroring him, I have to go to my back left. And same thing with, with each cone. Let's take a look. One of the reasons we do these is just because ultimate is so mental you got to process all the information on the field before making your decision with the, the physical side. This next drill I got from AJ is going to combine that reaction that we were talking about with fast feet. We're going to be chopping each cone around in a circle, high volume, high repetition, and really fast, but stay balanced. After you've completed one circle, then you're going to look to see which one you're going to next. Again. You gotta react to it, get there fast, another loop, and by the time you finish that loop, you're off to the next cone. Let's try it out. All right, we can also put this in a line and that's gonna work on our um, lateral movement. So we're gonna make the circle now just one line. For the circle, you can go up to maybe 10 loops for each rep and then offense, defense, you'll probably wanna play each about five times. Now we have a line of five. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna point to five cones just cause we're showing the drill, but in a real workout, we usually do 10. All right, there you have it. That's just some of the, the normal footwork that we're doing every week in the off season. And we'll keep it going. And if we get a couple new workouts, we'll send them your way too. Peace.